This is very interesting. I didn't have any gravel at the time I was filling this pot, or I didn't have any gravel near at hand. So I just grabbed a whole lot of courage on leaves that the possums brought in. I collected all the possum leaves and I stu stuffed them in the bottom of the pot. And as a consequence, all these little parasol fungi are coming up. Look, I suppose I should wash my hands afterwards in case they're poison, which they probably are. Look, little parasols. Nature abhors a vacuum, they say. And everywhere, everywhere there's a hole in the bottom. Everywhere there's a hole in the bottom of the pot for drainage, a little parasol fungi, fun fungus, is sticking its head out. Isn't that interesting? Um, yes, even around on this side, there they are, look. See? Whoops. Doing that little parasol fungi thing. Clever little things, aren't they? Not only that, look at this, there's a whole colony of some other type of fungus just coming up there. A whole lot of them. Maybe in, by this evening or tomorrow they'll be even bigger, we'll know what they are. A whole lot of them. So you can clearly grow fungi indoors, can't you? You can. What have I got here anyway? Well, this is some... Um, Passiflora incarnata grown from seeds bought on eBay. And what have we got in this one? Our Bodhi tree. This is the tree that the Buddha sat under. I wanted one too. It's a Bodhi tree. Ficus religiosa. So we'll see what comes up in that one. It's lots of fun anyway growing things. Here they are a day later. That's what they grew into. They grew into the same type, didn't they? They did. The same type. And... There they are again. Coming up. More and more every day. So it's possible to grow fungi in pots. possible to grow fungi in pots on purpose. <laughs>